is just for you. We have a Mustang on a Mustang. That is, of course, the Mustang car on a Mustang dyno. Because the number one comment that we get all the time is, why are your cars so slow, zero to 60? And as you may recall, we took this Mustang and got a 7.4 zero to 60 time. Here we go, 305 horsepower, acquiring data. That sounds good. Oh my, oh my. This is so much easier. And here we go. All right, let's see what the results are. 7.4 seconds, which is not very quick for a 305 horsepower car. And the reason for that, well, we're at altitude. In fact, we're in Denver, a mile above sea level, which means there's less air, less power. Just how much? So we can actually find out how much power it's putting out at the wheels right. at both sea level in Michigan yep. where it was built. Yep. And, and up here. here in Denver at a mile above sea level. Exactly. And, you know, basically compare the two. And you can do zero to 60 times as well? Zero to 60 on the Mustang. And we can also do quarter miles as long as we get the weight and everything dialed in correctly. And we're going to be running this car at 3,800 pounds. Because uh, it weighs about 3,500, right. and you're correcting for the fact that last time I ran it, I was 200 pounds. Right. <laughs> and <laughs> Plus the gasoline. A little fuel and everything in there. So that's where we'll be starting today with that. We'll get it all set up, calibrated, and go from there. The exhaust looks really nice. They've got it routed pretty decent. So just how much power do we lose up here at altitude? Well, thanks to Brian at Tobes Performance here in Denver, we're about to find out. Here we're actually on a chassis dyno. We're getting the, the horsepower from the wheels. So we're gonna lose some efficiency going through the drivetrain. So the dyno is gonna show you really what the horsepower is at the wheels, difference from the crank. So when Ford says 305 horsepower, that's at the crank, not at the wheels. Right. His horsepower starting at 2300 yeah. coming up to 6300 yeah and this is your torque line 220 oh, horsepower yes. and 203 engine torque and that would be corrected at this elevation what Paul was talking about are the corrected numbers I'm gonna give you the uncorrected numbers which means the numbers that the car is actually producing here at about 5,400 feet above sea level. And that is 184 horsepower and 167 pound-feet of torque. So when you see me going zero to 60 in 7.4 seconds, you know why, because at the wheels, this car here in Denver is only putting out 180 horsepower. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Car. See you next time. And you said that blue one down there that we were looking at, that guy down there? Yeah, that one we're shooting for about 1,000 horsepower. Hope to run, you know, mid eights, high eights up here at elevation, hopefully 160. Um, the car Quarter mile in eight point some seconds. Yep. That is crazy. Yeah, the car should weigh somewhere around 25, 2,600 pounds. And we'd like to put about 1,000 down on, on the wheels on this dyno, so. So if I own an STI and it's got 300 horsepower out of the box. Uh-huh. What can you take it up to just by retuning it? Retuning and a tiny few mods usually you gain about 40 to 60 horsepower to the wheels, which is pretty noticeable. And that's without any hardware? No. That's just basic, basic, you know, basically a tune going into the computer, changing the way the car is set up from the factory, making it run more efficient, turning up the boost a little, turning off some other settings for lean, lean spool and things like that really picks up the car, makes it quite a bit, you know, change. You know, the torque comes on a lot quicker and, uh, Holds its horsepower a lot better. Is it a mess with the warranty? Well, we won't say anything <laughs> about that. <laughs>